Good morning, Internet. It is another gorgeous morning here in Arizona. Nice fall day. We're getting ready to go do a fall camping trip, but the reason I'm coming to you today is we have a small ass catastrophe taking place on the Airstream. And our small ass catastrophe is the foam inside these cushions is starting to break down making for an extremely unpleasant experience. So I'm gonna to bring to you a small cushion hack. We're gonna take uh, some memory foam and we're gonna cut about three inches of memory foam and then we're gonna bottom, put on the bottom of it like one inch of uh, regular high density upholstery foam. And we're gonna replace this crappy stuff with some nice ass friendly foam. Okay, next we're going to go over supplies we need for our ass hack. The first thing is a little bit of memory foam. Now you can get this stuff like at Joann's, other fabric stores, and you can order it online, but I'm just going to use a mattress topper. I found the deal at Costco to be very good. So this is going to serve as my memory foam. This is high density upholstery foam. And I got that at Joann's. And um, obviously the square footage will depend on the size of the cushions to be hacked. We have here um, an old flat sheet. I'm gonna lay this flat sheet out as my work surface because I will be using some spray on adhesive and I don't want it getting on the floor. And we're gonna do some measuring, of course and a Sharpie to mark our measurements. I bought um, some replacement blades, but I'm not actually gonna put them in anything because you can see that blade is nice and long. So this will serve as my cutting implement. Of course, I'm gonna wear gloves. And we're gonna need to do a little bit of contouring of the foam. So I have a small electric knife here. We're gonna have a little bit of spray adhesive if we need to join together any segments. The interesting thing about this adhesive is you spray it on, you leave it for 10 minutes, then you join the pieces. And then finally, some sort of an implement to act as a straight edge for marking our foam. Lastly, we're gonna need a room with plenty of ventilation. And so we have a room with plenty of ventilation. As always, when working with adhesives, make sure that you have plenty and plenty of fresh air. This is going to be our work area. And I'm going to lay out the flat sheet. And then uh, it's possible that we may have some four-legged helpers while this goes on. Now, while they don't actually help very much, they do make the process a lot of fun.
Okay, so it's been about a month since I shot that video. And as promised, we did go on a camping trip. So had a good four days to try out these new cushions. And I wanted to follow up with you guys and um, kind of tell you what we found. So my initial concern about my choice of using the memory foam is um, I was a little concerned it would give too much because you saw in the video when it comes uh, shipped, the foam is very thin, so it obviously compresses to to a very thin level. So I was worried that sitting on the foam would maybe compress too much because after all, it is mattress topper foam. And uh, so part of to address part of that, um, I put the high density foam backing on it. Um, so I can definitely say after uh, four days we're sitting on this stuff, um, both Tina and I, we think it's way better. We're very happy with it. Um, you know, I sit at this table and um, I'll work with the laptop or I'll edit video. And this is definitely an improvement. Um, also, uh, you know, what do you have to lose? They're cushions. So if it doesn't work out, I can always um, come back and do it again. But um, I'm curious, Fred, uh, you uh, sat down on this for the first time. And what was your sit experience like? Um definitely very firm when you sit on it and then you kind of sink into it right. after a moment but overall it's comfortable and it's firm it is it is firm as it kind of compresses but um so we think we're gonna go ahead and pull the trigger and do um all the cushions this way so there you have it mm -hmm. 